there is actually a major that will allow you to get directly into PA school. And I guess it would be the best major for PA school. Um, so that major is What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. What is the best major for PA school? Adana, what is the best major for PA school? What? is the best major for PA school. So I figured I'd make a video for you guys and answer it right now. I wanted to answer this question for you guys because I've been getting asked the question a lot. And I've told you guys this before on numerous occasions that there is no best major for PA school. I think dissecting that question and trying to figure out what exactly you guys are asking is probably the best way of answering that question. So. If you're the person that's asking what's the best major for PA school because you want the major that's gonna get you into PA school, then this answer is a little bit more geared to you because there, again, there's no best major, right? You can major in anything you want as long as you get the prerequisite requirements for your PA program, that's all you need. You just have to have a bachelor's degree to actually be eligible to apply to PA school. So with that being said, if you're thinking, all right, well, I mean, I understand there's no surefire major that's going to get me into PA school. Like if I were a psychology major, I know for sure I'm getting into PA school. That's, that doesn't work. However, there are majors that will allow you an easier route into PA school. So if you're asking in terms of that, then those majors are majors that kind of deal around the natural sciences. If you're looking at biology or chemistry or biochemistry or any of those natural sciences, even your nursing degree will better prepare you for PA school. Now, the nursing degree isn't necessarily in like your natural sciences section, so it wasn't for my school. It was like kind of in the allied health section. Um, however, if you get your degree in nursing and you pass your NCLEX and you do all of that stuff and you become a full-fledged real-life nurse and you're getting all of this patient care experience, then once it's time for you to apply to PA school, like it's so much easier because you've gotten patient care experience in undergrad to kind of suffice some of those hours that you need. And then you, you've you gotten it on the job as a nurse, you know, for the three or so months that you've been waiting to apply to PA school or to get into PA school. So that is a good option for those of you that are trying to find ways to get direct patient care experience and fulfill the undergraduate degree all at the same time. But if you don't wanna be a nurse, and there are lots of people who don't wanna be nurses, you just kinda of want to, you know, do like a PT assistant or something like that, or work at a pharmacy, whatever it is that is your jam. That's my jam! If you like to talk to- That's okay, you know, it's not, nursing's not for everybody, so you can still get those direct patient care experience hours, but take a major like biology or biochemistry um, or even something in a more allied health realm, like, you know, um, healthcare administration. Just as long as you are getting all of the prerequisite undergraduate courses that are required for PA school. Again, PA school is not like any school that you've ever applied to. So there's not something that is like across the board, like you're gonna need these five courses and that's it. You're going to have to actually look at each individual program that you are interested in applying to and look and see what their prerequisite requirements are. Now, there are some courses that are the same across the board, like anatomy and physiology, biology, like general biology, general chemistry and organic chemistry. Those are typically always in the prerequisite requirements for the majority of the PA programs. Where they tend to differ is if they want microbiology or genetics or just an upper division um, science course. If they want biostatistics or just statistics. If they'll allow you to take algebra instead of statistics. If they want biochemistry, because not every school does. So those are the, the little nuances that you're gonna have to pay attention to when you are applying to PA school. But this really, again, this only truly applies to somebody that is trying to go directly from undergrad into PA school. Now they're actually, let me pause. 
because there is actually a major that will allow you to get directly into PA school. And I guess it would be the best major for PA school. Um, so that major is physician assistant medicine because there are undergraduate programs that are like bridge programs. They are five slash six year programs that are direct entry programs into PA schools. So if you're interested in the best major, then that would be it. But other than that, there really is no surefire way. Just like there's no surefire way for really anything that you do, you just kind of have to put the work in and do your research. So that's why you guys come to this channel and get all of this information. So if you're liking the information that you're getting, go ahead and hit that like button because it's gonna help my algorithm, you guys, and subscribe. But again, also, you know, you wanna just kind of look around the internet, talk to people, get the information that you need because it's going to help you on your route and make that route and transition from undergrad to PA school, which is grad school, a lot easier. I say this a lot, there's no surefire way, there's no like true major that's going to get you into PA school because really and truly there isn't, unless you're majoring in physician assistant medicine. But you just kind of have to choose the route that you wanna go. Maybe psychology might be something that you're interested in because you wanna be a psych PA. So you would get your undergraduate degree in psychology and then get the actual prerequisite requirements like that may not be standard in your psychology degree and then apply to PA school and that would be absolutely fine. But it's just up to you on how you want to cater your undergraduate learning to the program that you're interested in and to the, the specialty that you're interested in. Please, you guys, ask me questions. Um, I get a lot of this content from the questions that you guys are asking. That's why in most of my videos I started off as, I've been getting asked this question a lot. So please continue to ask me questions. Leave your comments and your questions in the comment section below. Um, you can also hit me up on Instagram at Adana the PA with any questions that you may have as well. And uh, like I said, subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.